Hello everyone, I'm Maggie Sparts, President of the Unity Foundation of LaPorte County. Welcome to our 17th annual scholarship reception, our second, which we have done virtually to keep everyone safe. Today, we are celebrating a really impressive group of students. Many are recent graduates who are just starting their college journeys, and others are pursuing masters and doctoral degrees. And awarding these scholarships is the highlight of the year for all of us at the Unity Foundation. With the help of many generous donors, some of whom are no longer with us, Unity has made an immense investment in LaPorte County students over the last 29 years. Since we began in 1992, the Unity Foundation has awarded more than $25 million in grants and scholarships. I remember when we didn't even have a million dollars and here we have given away $25 million, which is pretty darn cool. So in the last five years, though, we've invested over 1.3 million in students through scholarships. And this doesn't even include our Lilly Scholars, which now totals about $4.8 million in college costs that our students and families could then use for other necessary items. This year, Unity will be investing more than $330,000 in 153 amazing, bright, ambitious, and very deserving students. Nothing makes us happier than supporting students in their journeys as lifelong learners. And I want to remind everyone about the power of education after high school. Because people who continue their education, first of all, they make more money in their lifetime. They enjoy better health. They have more options, such as working where they want to live and then taking more time for recreation, having a higher standard of living, and so many other things. That's why our scholarships are not just for high school seniors. So think about the people that you know that could skill up. Think about people that might want to better their lives. And it even could be you. So think about it. We all need to be continuing our learning. And sometimes colleges can really help us. Now could be the best time to invest in yourself. Speaking of investing, we have others who invest in Unity Foundation, thankfully. We have corporate sponsors, and they are Horizon Bank and NIPSCO. Thank you very, very much. We have Mason Investment Advisory Services, First Source Bank, Harbor Trust, Cable and Ace Hardware, Meridian Title Corporation, Newby Lewis, Kaminsky and Jones, and Rice Farms. We also get support from Applegate and Company CPAs and Estep, Berkey and Simmons, our auditors who are great to work with. We also have support from Fenker's Furniture and Mayor Dwayne Perry and the City of Michigan City. Their support of Unity and the community is critical and so we are very appreciative. I would be remiss if I didn't take this opportunity to give you a little mini Unity Foundation update. Because the Unity Foundation is your community foundation, we were formed in 1992 by the people of LaPorte County, for the people of LaPorte County. Our mission is simple. We want to strengthen LaPorte County now and forever. And we do this by, one, building permanent endowments, providing leadership, offering philanthropic vehicles to everyone, and being a catalyst for social and economic vitality. The one way we do this, of course, is investing in people like you. To learn more about our growth and our projects, please visit our website. You can find it at uflc.net, or you can follow us on Facebook. I think you'd be amazed. We do a lot. Highlights since last time I talked to you was, uh, first of all, we met our goal. We had a challenge from the Lilly Endowment, and uh, we tr which tripled the impact of local donations to our community funds. So as a result, 500,000 in local donations became one and a half million dollars in support for community needs forever. So very powerful. Thank you everyone who helped us with that. There are so many, I could not even mention them at this point, but thank you, thank you, thank you. Also in response to the COVID pandemic, Unity um, activated our Disaster Relief and Recovery Fund, and we've been making grants from there and really working with our partners such as United Way, Healthcare Foundation, and Doolin Health Council to maximize the use of those funds and impact on people, particularly feeding people and preventing homelessness. We also supported our nonprofit organizations, because we have many here, uh, through our 2020 Power for Good grants, 
and 75 local projects were funded with nearly $150,000 when they needed it the most. And we will be announcing our 21, 2021 grant winners in October, so stay tuned for that. We'll get a press release out. So we're also continuing to lead the vibrant communities of LaPorte County effort with our friends at the LaPorte County Convention and Visitors Bureau. Vibrant Communities is an initiative to strengthen LaPorte County's 22 diverse communities, now and forever. The number one item that came from our discussions with nearly a thousand residents was that we needed to know more about our housing situation. So we um, used some of our Lilly funds and conducting a housing study right now and are creating an action agenda. We have learned a lot. If you wanna know what we've been learning, you can also go to vibrantlpcounty.com and look at some of the slide presentations. It's very illuminating. So um, we are very excited about that. The other thing we really help people do is make their dreams come true. So we do that by helping people plan their estates. Um, we're not like lawyers or accountants, but we give them ideas about how to do things so that when you go talk to your lawyer, your accountant, your professional, that you are equipped and that you've thought things through. Um, there is a, a place on our website if you click on the beach, it takes you right to this portal that really helps make things simple because nobody wants things complicated. It makes things simple. And then that way you can figure out how to have your wishes your way when you no longer need the money. So if you want to know more, call our development officer, Jamie Miller, at 219-879-0327. So we encourage you to do that. So over the past 29 years, Unity has supported many LaPorte County organizations through many challenges by being flexible, nimble, and responsive. We've also been pretty innovative. But we're really grateful for our generations of donors, and I mean generations, who've had the vision to start scholarship funds, start nonprofits, um, start funds that support all of those organizations as well for the ever-changing community needs. I mean, who's ever predicted that we'd have a pandemic here during our lifetimes? So, and we're able to respond. Together, we really are a power for good. Next, I would like to recognize two very special young ladies, uh, our 2021 Outstanding Lilly Endowment Community Scholars. The Unity Foundation has had the privilege each year since 1998 to recommend two students to the Independent Colleges of Indiana, who then makes their final decision. This year's recipient of this prestigious scholarship recipients are Reese Attar and Jillian Maudlin. Both students will receive four years of tuition to attend the Indiana University of their choice, plus an annual stipend for books and equipment. Let me tell you a little bit about Reese. Reese Attar graduated from Michigan City High School with an academic honors diploma. Having taken advanced placement, dual credit, and honors courses, she has shown a really strong work ethic through her extracurricular work, volunteer activities, and more. She was involved in the student council, varsity girls soccer and tennis programs for all four years, serving um, she, in emerging, emerging leadership roles. And she's also been very deeply involved with CISV, Children's International Summer Villages, as a board member for three years, traveling across the world and coordinating national service projects. Reese will attend Indiana University. Congratulations, Reese. We're very proud of you. Jillian Maudlin graduated from LaPorte High School with an academic honors diploma, including having taken, having taken dual credit, honors, and advanced placement courses. Jillian has shown strong leadership and a passion for mentorship as co-founder and president of the Slicer Mentor Club. And her work with LaPorte Homework Helpers Leo Club and the YMCA Advocacy Board has given her lots of opportunities to show her, her strengths. She was highly involved in academic decathlon, Principals Advisory Council, Science Olympiad, and Spell Bowl throughout her entire high school career. Jillian will attend the University of Notre Dame. Congratulations, Jillian. We're proud of you as well, so congratulations. This day couldn't have happened without the help of our volunteer scholarship readers. They have a tremendous job to do, of reading all these applications, usually from their computers, because it's all digital nowadays. 
and uh, reviewing and scoring and and really reading the questions and, and discerning, you know, who uh, meets the criteria of a particular scholarship or who doesn't. So we are so grateful for our committee um, and the work that they do. And I think they had a little more fun this year because we're giving out the most we've ever given in one particular year. So it's a, it's a fun feeling. Not everybody gets something, but um, we really, really appreciate their work. So thank you, Scholarship Committee of the Unity Foundation. The next part of our presentation is the part you've probably been waiting for, which features each scholarship in alphabetical order with the names and pictures of winners. We hope you enjoy learning about our many donors and the scholarships they started. But mostly, congratulations to the following students for all their hard work. And we wish you luck in your upcoming academic year. Thank you. Enjoy the next part. The Bogetti Agrawal Scholarship has awarded three students with scholarships totaling $3,000 since 2019. This year's recipient is Lucas Fagatti. The Row Crop Agricultural Scholarship Fund, created in 2001, has awarded 32 scholarships totaling $26,000. This year, the recipients are Garrett Eggert, Megan Riley, Caitlin Rudolph. Established in 2012, the Judith A. A. Moore Nursing Scholarship has awarded eight scholarships worth a total of $8,000. This year's recipient is Abigail Zila. The Diane K. Bamberth Award was started in 1998. Since then, it has awarded 25 scholarships worth a total of $38,200. This year's recipients are Stephanie Komasinski and Sophie Sorg. Since 2008, the Gustav J. and Elma A. Banzaf Memorial Scholarship has awarded 101 scholarships totaling $98,750. This year's recipients are Tessa Bauman, Nicole Hesters, Blake Kessler, Riley Moody, Sarah Price, Olivia Schroeder, Jacob Sherrick. The Benz Family Scholarship, started in 2008, has awarded 35 scholarships totaling $33,400. This year, the recipients are Jibril Hoskins, Arturo Alex Munoz, Mia Taylor. The Lloyd G. and Betty Jane Clayton Scholarship was started in 2004. Since then, it has awarded 23 scholarships worth a total of $28,000. The recipient this year is Hannah Schuster. Started in 2007, the Cunningham Scholarship has given out 25 awards worth a total of $12,950. This year's recipients are Aviana Garner and Anna Kamichik. The Ernest and Mildred Delco Scholarship began in 2002. It has awarded 53 scholarships totaling $30,760. This year's recipient is Janelle O'Neill. The Carly Dickard Memorial Scholarship was started in 2006 and has been awarded to 23 students, totaling $19,500. This year, the recipient is Rebecca Marksman. The Galena Township Scholarship Award has given out 17 scholarships since 2013, totaling $9,000. This year's recipients are Petra Hemphill, Reese Hemphill, Wrigley Hemphill, Started in 2013, the James A. and Phyllis A. Garwood Memorial Music Scholarship has awarded nine scholarships, totaling $10,500. This year, the recipient is Matthew Naus. The Donald and Beverly Goose Scholarship was started in 2018. It has awarded seven scholarships worth a total of $6,000. This year, the award goes to Emily Pontbriand and Kaylee Welke. The Harold and Rowena Hargrave Scholarship has awarded $11,800 to 22 students since 2000. This year's recipient is Madeline Nunn. The Robert J. Heiler Memorial Scholarship started in 1996. It has awarded 234 scholarships, totaling $375,350. This year's recipients are Justin Jayasingh, Grace Ola, Benjamin Patterson, Luke Patterson, Sarah Schuf, Kara Schutz. 
The Ruth M. Howe Nursing Scholarship, started in 1997, has awarded 21 scholarships worth a total of $14,000. The award this year goes to Emily Samuelson. The Ingersoll Trust Scholarship was started in 2010. Since then, it has awarded 29 scholarships totaling $28,000. This year, it was awarded to Paige Modlin, Madeline Nunn, Janelle O'Neill. The Bruce R. Johnson Scholarship was started in 2021. One $1,000 scholarship was awarded this year to Adelaide Youngbrust. Started in 1999, the Arthur and Alice Cablin Scholarship has awarded 143 scholarships worth a total of $129,925. The recipients this year are Emily Casarda, Janelle O'Neill, Megan Riley, Rhea Verma. Since 2008, the Cablin Family Scholarship has awarded $35,000 to 38 recipients. This year's awards go to Aaron Grieve, Michaela Robinson, Leslie Seedorf. 58 students have received the Harry L. Kelling Memorial Scholarship since 2000, totaling $20,550. This year's recipients are Maya Fagaris, Aaron Johnson, Peyton Neely, Samantha Shea, Micah Spat. Now in its second year, the Sandra Calkins Kowalski Scholarship has awarded three scholarships totaling $3,000. This year's award goes to Ava Barron. Since 2019, the Richard and Tracy Krauss Scholarship has given out six awards totaling $7,000. This year, the recipients are Emily Evers and Joel Kelly. The LaPorte County Easy Riders Horse and Pony Scholarship has awarded 14 scholarships worth $6,000 since 2014. This year, the recipients are Alexandria Bailey, Rebecca Novak, Holly Petri, Allison Schweller. The LaPorte County Nursing Scholarship began in 2003. Since then, it has awarded 187 scholarships totaling $191,800. This year, the awards go to Eva Barron, Carly Ellenberger, Keegan Long, Hannah Walker, Abigail Zila. Since 1998, Unity has administered the Lilly Endowment Community Scholarship in LaPorte County. 68 Lilly Community Scholars have been named. This year's scholars are Reese Adar and Jillian Modlin. Unity would also like to recognize this year's finalists. Alexander Ake, Trevor Henkel, Blake Kessler, Gabrielle Kimmel, Michael Lakin, Emily Pompbriand, Olivia Schroeder, Sophie Sorg, Rhea Verma, Adelaide Youngbrust. The Mary Louise Lundgren Lossing Memorial Scholarship started in 2007. It has awarded 82 scholarships worth a total of $90,000. This year's recipients are Christine Ake, Zachary Archambault, Alyssa Foster, Jacob Marsh, Shelby Riley. The Jack Lubeznik Scholarship began in 2007. Since then, it has awarded 23 scholarships totaling $17,600. This year, the recipient is Rory Neary. The Robert L. Ludington and Anita Huppenthal Ludington Scholarship was started in 2016. Since then, 281 awards have been given out, totaling $393,075. This year, the recipients are Alexander Ake, Christine Ake, Zachary Archambault, Tessa Bauman, Rachel Bella, Maria Bibian, Caitlin Bildhauser, Amanda Brown, Chloe Cloutier, Daniel Council, Brianna Dove, Jordan Forney, Alyssa Foster, Jade Foster, Emily Gushrowski, Kristen Gushrowski, Megan Gushrowski, Ashley Hannon, Trevor Henkel, 
Erica Hesters, Nicole Hesters, Jibril Hoskins, Jessica Jara Hazar, Jennifer Justice, Emily Casarda, Blake Kessler, Gabrielle Kimmel, Jacob Kaiser, Sydney Cohn, Catherine Kowalczyk, Michael Lakin, Bailey Laux, Jacqueline Leal, Bailey Lebo, Jacob Marsh, Rebecca Marksman, Paige Modlin, Josiah Miller, Riley Moody, Sydney Moody, Arturo Munoz, Molly Neary, Rory Neary, Logan Nataro, Madeline Nunn, Janelle O'Neill, Austin Ott, Hallie Petrie, Paige Pizarek, Emily Pompbriand, Sarah Price, Emma Rice, Shelby Riley, Megan Riley, Caleb Rosa, Caitlin Rudolph, Emily Samuelson, Aldair Sanchez, Hannah Schoner, Olivia Schroeder, Bethany Schuster, Hannah Schuster, Maria Scully, Jacob Sherrick, Sarah Sigmund, Hunter Smith, Sarah Smith, Sophie Sorg, Sydney Starks, Savannah Starr, Mia Taylor, Bria Thomas, Rhea Verma, Kaylee Welke, Amanda Werner, Adelaide Youngbrust, Andrea Zacknown, Allison Zila. The Ruth and Leonard Minich Scholarship was started in 2018 and has awarded seven scholarships for a total of $6,500. This year's recipients are Madeline Nunn and Caitlin Rudolph. Since 2009, the Dr. Edwin C. and Alice J. Muller Scholarship Fund has awarded 12 scholarships, totaling $28,000. This year's recipient is Jillian Matsky. The Jan Nona Environmental Stewardship Award was started in 2009. Since then, it has been awarded 12 times for a total of $5,500. This year's recipient is Michael Lakin. The Pioneer Scholarship was started in 2008. It has since given out 78 awards, totaling $76,000. The recipients this year are Laura Bahina, Amanda Brown, Marcus Gray, Jessica Jara Hazar, Jennifer Justice, Aranza Leon, Jada Majid, Arturo Munoz, Savia Santana, Hannah Schoner, Mia Taylor, Bria Thomas. The Reddington and Root Scholarship has awarded 146 recipients a total of $256,000 since 1999. This year, the scholarships go to June Brault, Ariana Cooley, Lefteri Figaris, Adam Mannering. Elizabeth Novak, Madeline Nunn, Janelle O'Neill, Abigail Zila. The Robert A. and Dorothy W. Rock Scholarship was started in 1995. It has awarded 196 scholarships worth a total of $184,350. This year, the recipients are Rachel Bella, Maya Figaris, Bailey Lebo, Bailey Lenig, Drew Novoroski, Jacob Pinkerton, Tori Satchwell, Bethany Schuster, Allison Zila. The Donald F. Scott Motivational Scholarship started in 2010 has awarded 70 scholarships totaling $136,000. This year, the recipients are Jibril Hoskins, Davion Garrett, Casey Halfacre, Thomas Comey, Dalen McCulley, Sophie Sorg.
The Floyd O. and Betty Shunk Scholarship, created in 1998, has awarded 234 scholarships, totaling $208,350. This year, the recipients are Chloe Cloutier, Brianna Dove, Jordan Forney, Jessica Jara Hazar, Jacqueline Leal, Caitlin McIntosh, Emily Samuelson, Hannah Walker, Emily Wilmson, Abigail Zila. Started in 2011, the Edward B. and Grace A. Steele Sipperick Scholarship has given out 31 awards, worth a total of $23,000. This year, the recipient is Jenea Blakely. The Irvin and Peg Swanson Scholarship was created in 2004. Since then, it has given out 67 awards, totaling $69,000. This year, the award goes to Jacqueline Leal and Bailey Lebo. The Tanber Blair Golf Scholarship started in 2014. It has given out 25 awards, worth a total of $24,000. This year's scholarship is awarded to Leah Thomas. The Neil G. Thompson Memorial Scholarship has been awarded in LaPorte County for a number of years. This year is the first year it has been administered by Unity Foundation. Three recipients are receiving a total of $4,500. They are Rosalind McCoy, Ryan Ott, Kaylee Smythe. The John R. and Florine A. Troyer Scholarship was created in 2008. 16 awards have been given since then, totaling $13,500. This year's awards go to Savannah Starr and Grace Wyness. The Unity Foundation Countywide Scholarship started in 2008. Since then, 83 scholarships have been awarded for a total of $75,000. The recipients of the award this year are Austin Casto, Olivia DeWitt, Garrett Eggert, Caitlin Fine, Laura Fisher, Taylor Gertner, Marcus Gray, Nicholas Gushrowski, Thomas Herches, Larissa Herzog, Abigail Huff, Elena Kobitz, Hannah Misch, Peyton Neely, Elizabeth Novak, Nathan Stevenson, Ashley Suppinger, Sydney Swanson. The D.I. Walker Scholarship has been awarded to 12 students since 2011 for a total of $12,000. This year, the scholarship is awarded to Sophie Sorg. This year's 153 recipients are attending 46 different schools. They have been awarded a total of more than $331,000 in scholarships. Thank you to all the forward-thinking community members who established and have contributed to scholarship funds at Unity Foundation in order to help these students pursue their dreams. Unity Foundation is proud to announce a lifetime total of 2,335 awards, totaling $2.6 million invested in students and their futures.